Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in to check in and chat. This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship and business expert, author and entrepreneur. And um, I am so excited to be with you on today. I see some people are already in the comment section. Good to see you, Dr. Annette West. Um, she was our guest on yesterday, on yesterday. Wow, time goes by so quick. <laughs> and so we're glad to see you today on here. And uh, we have a very, very special guest. I'm very excited to have her on today. We're going to talk about why struggle alone, why struggle alone. And of course, we're going to give you information about the Hustle Hub because that is being sponsored. All of this is being sponsored by the Hustle Hub Business Club. So with that being said, I want to tell you a little bit about Stephanie Pell. She is an amazing person, a business owner, um, and she is part of the Wise Courtship family, as a matter of fact. But I'm not going to go into all of that. I want to bring her on right away, and I'm going to have her, of course, introduce herself to as well. So let's get her on. Hello there, Stephanie. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And yourself? I'm great. Thank you. So thank you so much for joining us on today. Tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm a business owner, author, a mentor, a minister of youth. Great. Um, and, you know, I'm really excited to have you on. We've had uh, various people who were part of the Hustle, who are part of the Hustle Hub, come on today. And today we want to talk about why struggle alone. Um, very often in business, in ministry, um, even uh, when we're working on special projects and whatnot, especially among women, uh, sometimes we are guilty of trying to do it all alone. And, and we're struggling very often. Um, tell me about, because you've been a business owner for a while, um, were there times in, in that journey or even in ministry where you found yourself struggling to kind of do everything alone? Yes, I have. Um, <clears throat> but with this uh, Hustle Hub Business Club, the collaboration and the help and guidance of other professionals has been really great for me. Awesome. Um, you know, I, I keep hearing the same word from just pretty much everyone who comes on about collaboration, about getting, you know, advice and guidance from other professionals that are there um, in the group. Um, how vital do you think that is that people you know, get themselves up under um, instruction from people who know and also just having some camaraderie with other people who are trying to get their projects and their ministries and their business going. Yeah, I believe that is uh, essential. Uh, excuse me. Having that camaraderie uh, from the other, other business, business professional, professional has, has uh, helped, helped me, me to, to uh, move, move forward. forward. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you have a um, a business that uh, very. I mean, you know, it's, it, it is a business that you could possibly be doing um, a lot of the work by yourself. You could be in the home by yourself. I'm I'm sure there may be times that you would meet clients. Um, but it's it's still not the same as you know some who have people in the office with them, and I certainly know what that's like. I've had some business, especially during the uh, coronavirus, that you know I just very easily do alone by myself and all of that. Um, but I do have some businesses that you know I, I kind of consult with other people all the time. Um, how important is it to you know be with other people in the hustle hub? Um, not even necessarily what you're learning or whatnot, but just kind of getting an opportunity to speak and and um, bounce ideas off of other people. How important is that, especially when you have a business like yours where you, you know, you may spend a lot of time to yourself. Exactly. So speaking to other professionals 
it helps me not to be alone or feel alone. Mm -hmm. You know, I have found that, um, okay, I own a theater company and that's my oldest build business. I've owned that um, for over 30 years, actually. And what I found with a lot of creatives, um, especially when you're making a living from your your art, whatever you're doing, um, very often you can be uh, set aside and set apart. And, oh, it's so good to see you, um, l &B Poetry. That's uh, LaDonna Marie. Thank you so much for joining us. I didn't mean to ignore any of you guys. We were getting into this conversation. Good to see you. And I also see Judy is here. Thank you so much for joining in. Guys, if you don't mind, please go ahead and share this broadcast. Um, I find that um, a lot of creatives are really guilty with um, working on their own, especially if the art form is something that they can do on their own. You know, with my actors, we have to work together. But um, when you're talking about artists and you're talking about maybe soloists, um, if they don't have backup singers or whatever, they may be working on projects. And now, especially since everything is digital, you may be working alone. Um, what would you say to someone who is struggling? I mean, they're struggling alone in their businesses, in their ministries and what have you. What would you say to them? Yes, I would advise them to join the uh, Hustle Hub Business Club. Yeah, um, I think the Hustle Hub Business Club um, offers a lot of benefits for those who are alone. Now, don't get us wrong. If you're watching us, and I, I do want to, um, I'm constantly looking at the chat box because I see people putting comments here. Um, I'm not saying that if you uh, work with other people that you would not benefit from this. You most definitely would benefit. But there is a um, extra benefit for those who have um, things that they do alone. And I believe Lakeisha Mosley said it on today. She brought up a feature of, you know, with women, uh, how sometimes we don't put ourselves first. And so even though some of us have gotten to the point of starting businesses or creating streams or ministries or projects or uh, services, we still have not put ourselves first when it comes to... Um, you know, getting things done because the business is important to us. The ministry is important to us. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts on that because that one was like, whoa. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so what? even though I work alone in the office, it's nice to get together with other business-minded people and brainstorm, collaborate, and talk about new projects. Absolutely. Can you tell me, oh, there's an echo on her end. I don't know, maybe if I put on my uh, my earphones, maybe there won't be an echo. I don't know. Um, maybe the volume might be turned down a little bit. I'm not sure. You guys have to let us know. We had an echo with Lakeisha too as well. So I don't know if it's because I'm not using my earphones or what. But uh, let us know if that gets any better. Okay, let us know about that. Um, so if, if that's not better, then I'll go ahead and put on my earphones because I think that's the only time, or at least turn them on, because I think that was the only time I did not get feedback. Okay, I'm looking at the chat box to see it. You said, okay, maybe it's on your end. I don't know. Um, um, when Stephanie speaks again, just let me know because uh, um, I think that's who you're saying is giving an echo. So, um, Stephanie, tell us about um, the greatest benefit that you think you received from the Hustle Hub Business Club. The great, the great, one, of one of the greatest, greatest benefits, benefits was, was I felt, I felt supported, supported in my, my uh, future, future endeavors. endeavors. Wow. Can you unpack that a little bit? Because I think support means something different to different people. Okay. Um, you know, for some, it's like, uh, you know, I have this idea and, and I got a group of people I know that's not going to shoot it down. And meanwhile, guys, I'm going to turn on my. Um... OK, it's on Stephanie's. Edge. I'm just going to check and see if, if, if I do something that it will change. Um, sometimes it's financial for some people. Sometimes it's the fact that uh, people are kind of not supporting them in their dream or their endeavor. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm changing it now to see if that's going to be. Um, 
I hope that'll be a help a little bit here. Let me know. Did that echo change? So, uh, Stephanie, while um, we're getting the technology together, let me know. Um, unpack that a little bit when you talk about support. Okay. So I felt emotional support when I presented my idea uh, to the group or um, my project, so to speak. Did the echo go away? That's what I'm, I'm waiting for them to tell me in the chat box if it's a little bit better. I put on my mic and um, I can hear you well, but I don't know if there's an echo or not. So um, since you're talking about emotional support. And, you know, I think uh, the emotional support is so important because how many dreams have died because people did not get the emotional support. And, you know, um, I know we're talking about businesses and people sometimes when they think about businesses, they just think about making money. But businesses and ministries and products and services give such a, um, as a great service to our livelihoods, um, especially ministry, that's hands down. That's no doubt about that. But also in businesses, there are some products and services services that have come about that have really changed our lives or have really enhanced our lives. And so uh, we don't want to discourage anybody who has an idea uh, or who wants to try something out. And so I think the Hustle Hub affords people to come together and, you know, ask questions, shoot their ideas out and all of that. And um, I want to, I'm really curious to know uh, what your uh, feedback is from someone who already has owned a business, has been owning it for a while, and um, your perspective coming into the group. Because we have people who have never started businesses. They're starting for the first time, or they don't care about that, but they want to do streams of income, or they don't care about that. They, they're trying to get their ministry off the ground or what have you. But I would love to know what your perspective is from somebody, um, from somebody who already has business acumen. Yes, yeah, so I believe that um, if someone wants to join the Hustle Hub and doesn't have any experience, um, we're here to guide you along and uh, give you some, um, some steps that you can take in order to uh, move forward with that business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And um, I just love, I, I don't know about you guys, if you have noticed Stephanie's style, she's such a laid back person. I just love that because, you know, everyone in the group is so different in their personality. And um, I actually um, always have gravitated toward laid back people because I started off extremely laid back. And when I'm home, I'm laid back. Mm -hmm. I just happen to be in a profession where I have to be in the forefront, but I'm a laid back person. So yeah, the echo's gone. Okay. So that, that's probably because, um, I could have turned on my sound system from here and that would have balanced out her headphones and stuff. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I love the, uh, the laid back style. So, you know, that alone speaks volumes to people who are watching and listening. You know, I think sometimes people think, um, you know, to get these businesses and these ministries off the ground uh, to come up with a product or service that you have to have this grandiose, you know, personality. <laughs> um, but I don't agree with it. Tell me what you think about that. I mean, because you're the one that's more laid back, but I think you're very powerful. Oh, thank you. Well, I believe you need to just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be yourself. And, um, and, you know, just, and that just leads into doing something that you love to do. What, what are you passionate about? Uh, either there's a burning passion or there is a burning frustration. Okay. Which means there's a need that needs to be filled. And so we encourage you to do that. Let me just stop for a moment to um, just say to the people who are watching us on Facebook, live Periscope, Twitch, Twitter, um, and um, my Facebook page, and some other platforms as well. I greet you, and I also want to say for all those who have shared this broadcast, thank you very much. 
And I know that many of you are making comments on those shares. I can't see the comments, but I want to thank you for being part of it. And you can always come over to my Facebook page, so that way you'll be able to um, go ahead and, and answer directly. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. So listen, we're going to take a little bit of, of a break, and then we're going to be right back with Stephanie Pell as we talk about uh, why struggle alone. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. Okay, well, welcome back each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I see a few comments are coming in. Oh, wow. Let's see. Hi, Mark. Hi, Odyssey. Good to see you. Good to see you on today. I know he left me a nice long one. I almost need my glasses, on. <laughs> says, hi, I'm part of a new investment group called the New Black Wall Street Investors, and he's left his website and what his goal is. And we would love for you, Odyssey, to join us at the Hustle Hub um, and let us know what you're doing um, uh, because we have things like the Mastermind Sessions and the Collaboration Station that will also connect us one with the other and, and to, to help one another. So tell me, um, you know, your... Um, take on our mastermind sessions? So I've only been a part of one of your mastermind okay, sessions. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so I, I did find it to be uh, a great um, collaboration uh, session uh, where other people gave um, their feedback as far as um, what they were doing um, with their businesses and their ministries. Yeah, you know, um, let me just clarify for those who um, are not familiar with our mastermind sessions. It's an opportunity where you get like 15 minutes of instruction and then afterwards it's Q&A. And it just, um, it runs the gamut. It runs the gamut from something very basic all the way to very difficult. Um, and at the mastermind sessions, you can ask questions at any time, even if it's off topic. Uh, as long as it has something to do with, you know, business creation, development, creating streams of income or job alternatives, but it can be off topic. Um, and when Stephanie said she only attended one, there's many people who are part of the Hustle Hub who don't attend the mastermind sessions, but the mastermind sessions are very much worth your money. I'm telling you, if you don't do anything else, try to come to the mastermind session because it will cover completely the cost that you pay to be in the Hustle Hub. One of the other great features that was recently added, and I think we've had about three sessions, is the Collaboration Station. Now, have you been part of the Collaboration Station? I think a yes. couple of them, yes, correct? I have. Yes, I have. So give me your impressions on the Collaboration Station. Well, this is the uh, one that I felt um, the emotional support. Ah. You know? um, so I really thought it was great because um, I got a lot of feedback in that uh, session. Uh, well, at least the last session that I went to. And so it was great. It, you know, I was able to um, give some information about what I was working on. And I got a lot of positive feedback. That's amazing. Um, you know, a lot of people really love the collaboration station. And what it is, is an opportunity for all of us to come together once a month and to present what our projects are. What are we working on? What do we need help with? And then how are we going to help someone else as well? Um, you may not can help in everything, but there's something that you can help in. And um, it's a wonderful time of uplifting one another and making sure we get our projects done. So we may have someone who said, well, I'm working on this. And when we get together the next month, we'll ask, you know, how did that work out? You know, um, did you get far? Some people say, yeah, well, you know, I did this and that and I moved on. And then some will say, well, it didn't really work out. I thought maybe I should scrap that and try this. What do you guys think? 
And so that is an awesome time for us to get together. So um, we're going to talk about price in a moment. But before we do, I want to really encourage you that if you have not um, done so, take that link bit.ly forward slash hustle hub. It's right there where you can see it. If you're listening to me on the podcast, it is bit.ly forward slash hustle hub, H-U-S-T-L-E-H-U-B. All the letters are lowercase and you would put that into your web browser. Check out the benefits. We're trying to get you to be on the boss babe because the biz babe is going to phase out. Uh, because you get so much value for that price. So if even during the pandemic, you are still getting a uh, uh, great value for the price. And very often people want to promote their businesses and that's all they want to do. But I'm telling you where it's at is collaboration and networking and constantly honing your skills. That is where it is at. So come in and join with us on the ground floor. So Stephanie, let's talk about price. I say that it is 70, 67 cents a day, and you say how much is it, if you can remember what the price is. $19.99. Oh, great. Because I know that, um, I think it was, um, I think it was Lakeisha, she, I knew she probably couldn't remember the price. She had been part of the Hustle Hub for a while. It is such an insignificant amount of money, although I don't say we don't poo-poo money now. <laughs> all money is good money. We All money is money that needs to be counted. And I think you you could say amen to that since that's your yes, profession, right? You, amen. <laughs> um, um, what do you think about the cost that you pay monthly um, per the value that you receive? For the course, it's a great value. It is a great value. Nineteen ninety nine. You know, it's less than a dollar a day, uh, <clears throat> and you get so much. You know, between the collaborations and the camaraderie there's just so much you know that you can just pack that is packed into these uh sessions you know whether it be the mastermind the collaboration station uh yeah. and you you hold different events throughout the month absolutely and i think you know sometimes when people um cringe at the price or whatever cuz 1995 i don't know why you would cringe but you know sometimes people are like well i'll do something else that's because they don't they don't recognize the value right. when you look at uh what you can pay in mentorship when you look at what you can pay in coaching and my coaching yeah. sessions are they cost, okay? Yes. Um, when you think about what you can pay in classes, and I have a whole online class business, okay? I don't mind popping the link up here <laughs> to let you know about it. The, those classes cost. And so when you can pay one price and get the classes and the mentorship and and the coaching and the and also just someone else putting their hands to help you with your projects. Yes. I mean, that is just value with a capital V, okay? Yes. Um yes, absolutely. Less than four fit what is it, four, five cups of uh is it supposed to be cup, cups of coffee in the month? Or eating a meal or two out. Absolutely, uh, Dr. Annette West. Um, I always say I don't drink coffee, but a lot of people say those uh, lattes are about $5. But when I spoke to Lakeisha today, she said some of them are $8. And I mean, even if you did the five, five times five is $25. 25 times four is $100. And you've gotten fat, no nutritional value, and you don't get anything else for your money other than what you spent on the coffee. Now I'm not saying uh coffee oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I figured that's what you meant. She said coffee, not coffee. <laughs> it was ebonics. <laughs> but I understood what you meant. And so um we have to really think about uh our futures and what we want. And as we stepped into this new year, we have to really, you know, really think about what's important to you. And if you've been trying to get that book done and you still haven't gotten it done <laughs> after, you know, five years and six years, you need to join the Hustle Hub. You really do. You really need to join the Hustle Hub. Yeah. So, Stephanie, we, we're about to wrap it up. I want to see if you have any parting words. I would say, what is one of the, the biggest aha moments for you um, while you were at the Hustle Hub or anything that you learned during that time? I didn't realize, well, going in, 
I didn't know what to expect. Uh -huh. And when I was actually in the um, collaboration or in the group, I just found that there was so much, well, I had a lot of takeaway from it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, <clears throat> so the value, I, I can't, uh, I can't express is for what you pay, the value is exponential. It really is. It really is. And I saw that um, Judy's comment said it took her 30 years to write her book. Wow. And just one connection with the right person, I think she would say, because we, we work together and my publishing company published a book. Just one connection with the right person can change everything. And if you're connected exactly. with several right persons, wow, look at what we could do together. So, Stephanie, I want to thank you so much for spending the time with us on this evening. I know you had a full day and you still um, made the interview, so I appreciate you so very, very much. Oh, thank you welcome, so much for joining. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Take care. All right. So listen, guys, um, you've heard from Stephanie and you've heard from so many others. We will be talking to um, Judy St. Pierre on next week. We'll also be talking to a group of women uh, from the Hustle Hub on next week. And I pray that you guys will join us. Um, I'm telling you that, uh, and, and you know, we didn't even mention like the newsletters that you get in the Hustle Hub. We didn't mention even the personal meetups, you know. There's a whole list. That's why you want to go to this link. Let me put the link up there for you again. You want to go there and see uh, yourself what you will receive in the Hustle Hub. But like I said, if you just, uh, even in the pandemic, just those two events and your newsletters um, alone is worth the money that you receive for the Hustle Hub. So uh, everyone's thanking Stephanie for being here. Yes, we thank her for taking the time and all of the beautiful women who have um, come before us so far um, to talk about the Hustle Hub. So listen, why are you struggling alone? Why? Why are you struggling to write that book? Why are you struggling to start the business or create streams of uh, income? You know you need another side gig other than your nine to five job, but you just don't know how to get it started. Let's break down the pride. You know, it's funny because in, in, in the business that I have, I work with different people and I watch people struggle with stuff that they know that that my company handles and they will struggle and struggle and struggle or they will finally stop struggling and go spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to someone who's not going to tell them half as much okay not even a fraction of as much so don't do it to yourself you do not have to struggle alone this is a new year and you could be kick you could be producing you could be making a difference uh, in your life, everyone else's life around you. So uh, make sure you go ahead to that link, bit.ly forward slash hustle hub. And we will take care of you. Yes, indeed, Judy, afraid you will not be successful. And some even afraid, afraid that you will be successful. But if you have the camaraderie of people here in the hustle hub, it would be a lot. It's a lot more fun to go up with friends than try to go up by yourself. OK, <laughs> it's a whole lot more fun. Well, I got to go. But remember, you can visit me on the Web, um, which is www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it. And this ends this segment of Check In and Chat, but we'll be back with you on Monday and Tuesday. I'll see you there. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video.